In the U.S., President-elect Donald Trump has also announced his choice for the key post of Secretary of Defense. We are going to appoint Mad Dog Mattis as our Secretary of Defense. They say he's the closest thing to General George Patton that we have, and it's about time. It's about time. Mattis has spent more than 40 years serving in the military. CCTV's Daniel Rinches is in our Washington newsroom with more. Daniel. Elaine, he's the archetypal, tough-talking, brash warrior, but at the same time, a historian of ancient Greco-Roman culture and a very careful strategist. We're talking about General Mad Dog Mattis, who has been chosen as Trump's pick for U.S. Defense Secretary. Someone who led Marines into Afghanistan in 2001 and then into Iraq in 2003 and became U.S. Central Command Chief uh, Commander uh, and under President Obama, resigned pretty much in disgust at what he, th he thought was weak U.S. policy in the Middle East. Uh, now he's the pick, and many Republicans in the U.S. Congress seem to think that this is a pretty special pick. And you see people that have worked for James Mattis, and they just said they'd basically follow this guy into any conditions into hell because he'd do the same for them. And that's the kind of leader I think the Defense Department needs. But some Democrats looking at this situation that, as a whole as to what Trump has chosen, saying that here is somebody who is meant to be a civilian in control of the Defense Department, to have checks and balances. So some of them are going to be objecting moving forward, uh, Elaine. Uh, so, Daniel, how could General Mattis shape U.S. strategic thinking under a future Trump cabinet? Well, as I say, there's a temptation, I think, to see him in the role of this sort of macho man image that uh, Donald Trump is obviously there wanting to promote. But I think it's also worth saying that many people think that he could be a pretty restraining influence on Donald Trump going forward. For example, Donald Trump on the campaign trail said that he would reinstate the U.S. policies of torture, waterboarding, all that kind of thing, in order to exact information from uh, known terrorists. But according to Trump himself, Mattis has persuaded uh, 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 Donald Trump not to go down that route. Another big question moving forward, Mattis has been a real opponent of Iran going forward, although he says he will stick with the Iran deal but enforce it in very tough ways. Back to you. All right, Daniel Wrench is in our Washington newsroom.